On Saturday morning, several students who were affected by a fire which completely destroyed an apartment building they were renting at Commons Lodge told the newsroom that they are seeking compensation. The students, who are mainly from the University of Guyana, said that when they first took up residence at the building, they were told that the building was insured, but following Friday night's fire, they learned that the policy was not renewed since the first quarter of last year. A dentist who also lived at the apartment told the newsroom that for four years he has been complaining about a faulty bulb in his one-bedroom apartment, but nothing was done. He said the bulb would spark and then give off smoke, giving him a routine of replacing the bulbs every two weeks. Among those displaced are local and foreign University of Guyana students and medical doctors and students. This will be a normal routine. We will allow me to tell you something. It takes years. I have to get a lock on top of me though, I tell this man, this man take like over three if we put on a lock. Mm -hmm. How long are you living here and what are some of the things you lost in this fire? Well, I, I lost my bed, a chair, set, TV, flat screen, TV, I lose, jewelry, money, I lose like, like near a million dollars in things. What about personal documents? Ah, look, ah, look, gone down too. Ah, my, my, my registration on my vehicle, them, ah, gone down, everything gone down. As a student, we lost our laptops, uh, medical books, everything. medical books, medical instruments, okay. laptops. All my, all, uh, normal, uh, whatever a student does, a medical student is slow, right? We lost that, our basic, clothes, basic, basic stuff. statement, whatever we came with over here, is done, gone, burned down. So, uh, everything, nothing, yeah, right nothing is left. Nothing is left, just, uh, nothing is left. We are, everything uh, in the building, God. And thanks to God that uh, we, are, we, we are saved alive. our life. And thanks so to God we are saved our life. Alive. Yeah, fine. You guys were at home when the fire started? Yes, everybody. Yeah, 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 we was there, we was there and now. We even try for whole tip, but when you are your boss and thing and start flying and them that thing, we try water, we move. Yeah, I realize the fire, we cannot contain the fire there, and um, we try to remove things and so on, but it happened like that. What, what happened? What happened? We were out there in the street last night, nobody inquired where we were going to sleep. The nobody thing, even right? asked if we have place to go. The thing that you, if you notice, like we hardly got like a couple of minutes to see this thing, and the moment that we noticed the fire can't be stopped, the only option remaining with us was just leave the building and come and stand over here. I'm living here almost three years. I'm a final year law student, and I lost my, some of my documents. I lost all of my textbooks, all of my school materials, my fridge, my TV. My brother had like over $60,000, everything gone. And all we're asking now is, how are we going to be compensated? Because the landlord is saying that the insurance expired, but we're hearing contrary to that. So we need him to give us a firm um, decision on what he will do and what will be his position because he cannot really compensate each and every one of us for the loss that we would have incurred here. So we want him to at least try to give us some sort of satisfaction instead of lying to us and saying that the insurance is expired because I don't think any competent businessman would allow his insurance to expire. There were Indian nationals residing in the building also who said they made contact with the Indian High Commission here to inform them of the development and the misplaced source and travel documents. Terence Balgobin, who owns the building, was at the location on Saturday morning when we visited. He told the newsroom that he's been honest about the expiration of the insurance but cannot exactly say what month the policy expired. I was told that um, fire occurred in one of the tenants' rooms, and it appears allegedly is from of electrical origin. When I got here, the building was engulfed in flame already. Fire tender um, that was working ran out of water. The water finished from that, and there was no more supply of water. I believe, uh, looking at it at that time, if there was an adequate supply of water, we could have salvaged much more of the building. Well, not of the building is salvaged, but at least the concrete part of the building, I believe, could have been salvaged, because the building is both wooden and concrete. The wooden part of the building is what um, caught fire first. Um, there were three tenders. I think two of them was parked at the head of the road, and, and the pump for those tenders uh, were not working, so they couldn't uh, extract water from the drain or the canal. At the moment, the building is uh, the, uh, the insurance of the building has expired. Um, expired last year and has not been renewed. What well, month last year? I, I can't say. We're trying to find the paperwork, but um, it would be early last year, middle last year, something like that. But it expired last year. Okay. Comprehensive, it was? Uh, I can't tell you the detail of the insurance policy that I had, but I had full fire coverage. 
He said he cannot discuss much about the insurance policy, but I explained that when the building was insured, it was intact and it provided full fire coverage. He denied claims that the building or any other apartment in the building had electrical issues as according to him, each apartment is fitted with its own metering system. On Friday evening, a fire completely destroyed several one-bedroom dwellings on the apartment building at 3rd Street Commons Lodge, which has left approximately 30 persons homeless. There are claims that the fire service responded promptly but without adequate water, while the Guyana Power and Light came 20 minutes after the fire, all of which contributed to the complete destruction. The young professionals are now pondering their next move. Leroy Smith, Newsroom.